Uh, yeah, oh, you already know that my name is Artem. Thanks. Thanks for the presentation, Artur. It's like a <laughs> uh, very funny presentation. Thank you. Um, so today we will speak a little bit about our kit, how to use. Uh, you know that my name is Artem. I'm a lead software engineer in soft at SoftServe. Uh, to be honest, this is my second tech talk and uh, it will not be so long. Uh, I will tell a little bit about uh, what is ARKID and show some code presentation here to you. And then I will share this code presentation to you. What I want to make and achieve this with this presentation, I want you to be more aware how to play with ARKID and where it can help us in our life, in our, in our life. Um, especially for me, it helped me when my team struggled to create uh, understandable UI, UI, UI UX for the uh, camera usage to, to capture uh, QR codes, uh, how it needs to look like. And we add some Q, some kit stuff there with this QR, QR flying into the, in, in the air. So it, 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 the customer was very happy about that. And it was very, very easy to understand what's, what, what you need to scan to achieve something. So first of all, our agenda will be to speak what is an ARKit, what benefits and usability can we have here? Basically, what is an ARKit? ARKit is a something, uh, some functionality uh, above the uh, camera which you can add and you will see some additional stuff on in your, uh, like in real life on your camera. The ARKit works with front and back camera together. It means that uh, Apple developed uh, functionality and uh, algorithms which scanning the playground uh, and polygons on cam camera, uh, which you show, and then according to getting the the card's system of coordinates, and then built on that system coordinates dots and built and and point something that you already developed. It means that we created some anchors into the life, onto the image, and then this system and the uh, engine built something in your camera so you can see it like uh, it can be looks like that somebody near you but nobody here. Uh, as an easiest implementation of our kit, you can see it in the apps like a Poke Pokemon Ball. It's a, in, it is the most famous one. And the second one is uh, basically Instagram. And third one, uh, this is uh, just in Russian and Ukrainian, it's ruletka in your application where you can measure the distances. So what it is, the ARKit is a possibility to scan the image and the live uh, territory with your camera, getting the real sizes and as maximum get gets real sizes and put something there so analyze and process the images this is one of the way how we can process these images what is our usability here we the arkit works with motion tracking it can track the motions and help you to understand how you how we moving it will it can help like few examples imagine you're playing football you create your write the video and then you can analyze the video to understand your movements and imp and to give some improvement so it, it's very useful the second one uh, big tennis surf if you play one well, play or basically you can analyze the surface around you when you build your house and you need to understand if the wall have right shape etc so we it comes in amount of it's some like amount of useful applications which you can create. So all this uh, you can write by your own with using just anchors. Here uh, there are like some open source solutions for anchors you can use or you can just draw by yourself. It's like motion tracking, plane estimations, lighting estimation, gaming support. All these are here. Football. Pokeball, Pokemon Ball, Instagram, uh, some additional tips like you know that the head the, the head monitor when you drive in the car it is like uh, in 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 Mercedes Benz you can see the, the speed how you move in just looking on the road 
the same you can you, you will have on phone and i strongly believe that was the first in integration of this technology so it like it it, it can help us to create uh, like a virtual reality which you can see alive here what benefits we can have from our kit very very simple add some fun for our to, to our applications our very very pedantic applications it will become much more funny when you add some additional stuff there and it will help give some more understanding for user what's need to be done when you use the camera like example i gave, i gave you with uh, barcode scanning we just add the barcode on live when we found the barcode it's uh, we showed the barcode image here and the customer was really really happy and uh, yeah it was very good and useful from UX side. Live image processing, we can process the images and videos, etc., to help us to improve the current to, to, to give some functionality on top. It means like uh, everywhere in sport and even in army. Some so there are some uh some some advices how to make um some stuff for soldiers i will not tell you about that application but my friends developed some for soldiers and it helps like to artillery how they need to perform and uh, there are much stuff which we can use and uh, to be honest the big amount of applications can be created but most important i want to show you as things which we, which i want to show you after our meeting you just for you the, to, to play with that code and to find uh i hope it will be very useful and it it will be a small pleasure for you with with this this is a small uh game basically i found it uh, and i just partially add some stuff from my side just for you know that i hope you find something something really funny from my side i found uh so tell me if you will find something and we will laugh together to be honest just find word soft surf on the air uh how we we have some notes here it means that we have uh bad bad guys whom you will try to kill and we have two bugs and one big fire bug and they doing something big so they have small behavior here so you can you can you we can lay out them so they are they, they are moving a little bit on the air so we can we can see them these this pictures can be added on your camera using anchor anchors so how this stuff is doing on we have a game view controller where we need to put our arcade stand name is our 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 sir k view here we adding all needed delegates and this is all for integration we need but <clears throat> we have such thing like a stand <clears throat> the game stand it or just sk stand it's a important element of our kit where the all magic is working and where you will put everything first of all uh we take we initializing as stand view so it's like very very understandable and what we have here we have uh, let me make it a little bit down what we have here we have a setup board added some touches to you to perform uh add some additional stuff about bug spray mean that you will spray the bugs to 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 remove them so it's very very good game for the developers just uh, put your camera put your camera on your laptop and just spray the bug and remove the bugs so what we do with the method set up the world we have several levels here basically it is just level one here we're creating the stand and we are looking for the nodes node it is like a levels that we put in here and first of all we just 
need to analyze what if what a frame we have from the camera so we taking the camera transformation from the data and we use it for getting the whole whole place where we can put our bugs mean that we need to create an anchor what is an anchor here it is nothing but we just type what is a node type as i told we have bug fire bug and bug spray so by basically bug fire fire bug and basically we have a bug spray here as well it it will be put it on the screen so you will see it we transform in just the, just we create in just an anchors an anchor it is a point where you will put the element on your screen to see like a bar or something on uh, something like with a 3d model which you will see on a live so you will have possibility to go around this uh, images you can you can scroll you can make some zoom in there you can uh walk 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 nearly to that thing to that thing to look to the, to look the surface basically there are there are a lot of uh things and tutorials which you can try basically my first tutorial was to create a moon uh, uh under my table so i just to have a look on a big moon and it it it, it it was really 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 beautiful sorry for that um and the next thing which we need to do add it's like an anchor a type we want to to add and uh basically we're adding that the anchors here on the screen so it can automatically be added but this is the first initiation so we just add in the node uh, add into the anchor then this anchor adding to the to the stern and then what we do we use the method add a box spray what is a box spray <clears throat> this is the size of ink of this uh thing that we this view we wanted to put it on the screen so we need to define the coordinates where it's need to be so it's like uh x y z coordinates because it's like a 3d um coordinates um, uh here which we can pull put our which where we can put our uh, stuff so it can be near you or a little bit uh, after you so you will need to have to spend some time to catch this thing and to find into the air and then we add in the transformation of the uh, playground and then just add, add create anchor with this transform stuff and add into the to, to the screen to, to understand where it can be so it can be like very randomly so here we just removing the box the, the, the spray so we have a command run all, all needed and, and all, all needed commands i just used from the apple development site develop the developer site and we can just play with it so it's a very casual, casual game so i want you to play with this game as well to, to enjoy and uh, i think it is mostly it that I wanted to share it it takes less than even 30 minutes but uh to launch this application uh, you need you will need your phone launch it and play i i want you to enjoy and just make some very funny stuff so what i what i wanted to achieve here just to have fun with you guys to play with some interesting technologies and i really enjoy enjoyed with you can arc it in my previous thing and the most hard thing was just not to add it onto the screen but it was just to find the image of the qr code to to put it on the um into the, into on into the map and yeah just images and to, and the models is the most hard and crucial thing other stuff is really easy to play it really easy to add and benefits here just giant you can increase your understanding of the real virtual realities which is going on you can uh, work with your just coordinate understanding of 
the word so it means everything here is y x y z coordinate so if you understand it you will be very successful with the gaming development and uh, augmented reality development and i strongly believe that the next generation of applications will be in augmented reality yeah that's something it and i hope we can discuss something maybe you have had experience with an archit previously because this talk was just for junior level to speak about uh the archit so i will be very very happy to hear about your experience using the archit guys i had ex an experience uh, maybe uh, somewhere in uh, 2017 and mm -hmm. uh i've created a game for children uh where we um uh on this year uh there was a our kit version where we could only detect horizontal planes and that's also uh, as for now we can uh, detect uh, not only horizontal as um, maybe yeah. in the vertical and um, yeah and so on uh, yeah our kit number six uh, yeah, yeah, yes yes so okay. we, it was i don't remember what uh, uh, number it was but i think that maybe some first versions yeah uh, and uh, it was a game when we uh, uh, when we detected some planes horizontal planes and on this uh, we can call it floor and on this floor we uh, put uh, a door <laughs> yeah and uh, after that we tap on the door and this door uh, uh is opening and after that we could uh go through this door and we could see the you know some uh i know some place maybe some some garden with uh with butterflies and balloons and it's like um i don't know how to call this feature but it was very um uh, you know some some popular uh, like uh uh, like a portal, like a portal oh. in uh, in some other uh, yeah in some other place, and um, Lord for Narnia. yeah yeah something like that, and it, it looked like that, and uh, um, you should um, you know just just tap uh, on these balloons because it's uh, it was for children's <laughs> it was for children, and um, you got some score, and and that's all. But it was really. Uh, beautiful game and uh, beautiful experience, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's really nice. That's really nice because now that it, even now the time when such games will be very important for to, to help children to, to 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 feel them easier and just to dream for about something good. Maybe we shall create something as well from Soft Surf to give children some very nice games just to dream. Uh, to make them more, like more happy yeah it will be nice so we can communicate and create something from surf surf it will be very good and this will be nice initiative guys maybe some 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 of some some other of you have something to, to develop from our kit and maybe it's some very nice experience Okay. Yeah. The so, main issue is that air kit stuff is that you need to have your phone and yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the main issue, but it's the most interesting issue, most interesting one because you have a front camera, back camera. But to tell the interesting story for you, in 2005, there was a Nokia phone with a there was a first Nokia phone, Nokia with the camera phones. Which, which was a camera phones. And uh, basically there was an application when you need to open the camera and then you see some like a box which you need to, to, to kill. The behavior of that box was really the same as we have using the R kit and the current game. And I was really surprised when in 2017, I heard about the R kit and then that you can add something on the screen, but 
remember that game into from 2005 and the detailization of the items which I saw there on the 1.3 megapixel camera it was like something I was surprised why I did not see it in 2010 I mean about the ARKit because the the quality of that box was really the same as was provided from our kit from 2017. Some story. Yeah. So as I understand in that version, the uh, objects, uh, I mean the Nokia version, it was not uh, like anchored to any place in 3D dimension. It was on the uh, sprite on the screen. Uh, yes, basically it was a sprite on the screen. It was not anchored anywhere. Just, just. But uh, what was very surprising for me that when I turn turn camera in another side, you you will not see this. Uh, this yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. It, it worked. I, I think like a um, uh, PC mouse. It analyzing uh, the difference. Uh, to this uh, image, yeah, and just uh, uh, calculate the shift between two different images. Can be so, can be so, but it was very interesting to analyze how it works. So it means yeah. that the technology into the, is into development from 2005, and if you play it with Oculus Rift or some with augmented reality, you, I will, you will be very surprised how it how far this augmented reality is and I strongly believe that our kit is a part of this augmented reality and it will be possible like to to buy the glasses to see something extended into real world so I think that will be the, the next step for augmented reality not only games but to support uh, what you can do it also, I strongly believe that if you are aware some about something about WebRTC and uh, not only WebRTC but the peer-to-peer -peer connections uh, between the phone and the users and the call and the calls, it it is it. I want that to be possible to realize such uh, possibility to have a conversation using our kit. I mean, just open the camera and see the guy in front on the real on, on like an, on an image and he will see you as well so basically it will be very interesting to realize such um, possibility to chat so it means that you call somebody you see not like a video but you can go around that guy and see and 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 and, and see his avatar so it yeah. will be very interesting it, it uh, will be more interesting with the uh, Apple glasses, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I think I think yes, and it is as I know it is there in in development. So something needs to be connected to our kit because we can use it everywhere in every industry, and it is like the place where you can spend your time to improve and to use it just to increase the usage of this technology because the future is like with this technology i really believe so like soft surf for the soft surf uh sir, say us for the future not not more yeah that just that's just like that uh if we have time can you describe a bit uh that um your project with uh your code of our code. Uh, As I understand, there should be some uh, uh, like uh, uh, it's not only a AR uh, thing because you need to uh, yeah to understand that this is the QR code and this is not like this is just an image. So you need to some yeah uh, it's not a qr like in a qr code it was a way how to use our application it meant that it was for connectivity between the users and it was like we spoke with the client how the tip can looks like mm -hmm. and that it was like <clears throat> oh, when you open the app you the the the, the, the user saw the tip how to use the app and this was one of the tips he 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 saw on the screen 
uh, this QR was generated in the way that he need to take his phone uh, closer to the to the QR, and the it it helped uh, user to understand the distance to much more easier to to analyze the QR, what size of this QR needs to be looks like, and where you need to keep your phone to uh, to uh, analyze the QR code. Because on that time, there was too big amount of bad feedback that clients can't analyze the QR code, right? So we needed some measurement how to help the user and users to <clears throat> analyze the QR because the QR was not so big. And if you take your phone uh, just a little bit um, uh, far from the QR, so the upper right part of the phone did not have possibility um, to analyze how the QR looks like. And just analyzation was failed, just analyzation failed at that moment. So the idea was from the our team. So it was not only me, it was an Android guy and iOS guy who at that moment was me. I was just somebody middle uh, between middle and senior. And we just uh, found that our kit is alive and we can just to define some sizes of this image, put near the, and when the user, the camera phone find the QR, but there is something which is not working with this, this, this I mean, the scanning parameter is not right. So we cannot scan it with background. We cannot scan the right uh, code and then background request return as error. We just show in the tip, just use your phone like this, place here. And if the tip become green, you, you will pass the, the scanning here. So it was like a small tip here. Uh, for what it was, it was a WebRTC application to for for users to just to like to connect to the football match. So there was a room they wanted to work, to look football together. So they needed to scan the QR. I don't know why the, why the purpose of the pro the product, but it was very funny to to use it and to write it, that, that code because there was there were a first time where I integrated together a new Swift code with an old Objective-C. But to be honest, integrate a new Swift code for our kit with some very old uh, Objective-C uh, WebRTC library was a pain. I know that. Yeah. But yeah, that, that was really interesting. And I want to charge you to use an R kit in your projects and to propose the clients to use this technology because it's really, really stable now. And it is, it, it can help the, it, it is very useful thing to make your application more interesting for the end users and to show that you are like a high tech application just see you can see how cool we are or at least uh try to teach or try to catch the pokemon yeah at least try to catch the pokemon why not <laughs> so it's something yeah yeah guys you're welcome i think i will prepare something much more technically interesting the next the, 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 on the third uh, tech talk so 